What region in the world has the most opportunity for growth? Africa, of course. When you look at the size of the market that is underserved and the growing middle-class population, the continent is attractive for investors looking at making high returns on their investment. However, how do you invest in African countries? The conglomerates and multinationals can easily be found on the stock exchanges of countries of interest, but these are not your sweet spots, are they? With small and medium-sized enterprises representing about 90% of companies in Africa and employing over 60% of the population, these are the companies you would like to pay more attention to. However, many of them are not publicly listed. So the challenge for you isn't just finding these companies. You also have to deal with the fact that when you do find them, they may not be able to meet your due diligence requirements. So what do you do? Do you go through the hassle of finding them? Then after, helping them to meet your investment standards. To do that, you'd have to change your business objectives. While many African countries have stepped up to address this gap by creating alternative stock exchanges that cater to SMEs, you won't still find many of these SMEs there. Why? This is because the transaction cost of getting accepted into the stock exchanges is higher than the benefits as perceived by these SMEs. In order for us to move forward, the high transaction cost that you as the investor face, as well as those that the companies seeking your investment face, would have to be addressed.